So yesterday morning we've had a really nasty blackout and uh, when I woke up uh, I noticed that it took me like 30 minutes or so to come up with some sort of emergency lighting. I was trying to light up such LEDs, you see here, uh, star 20 million pure diodes, but uh, you know, I just woke up and uh, I couldn't really find the wires and uh, resistors and such, and uh, these things got lit up after the power got out, and uh, well the counts just work better, anyways, I've got these things out and uh, one of them definitely goes in service tomorrow or even today. I'm feeling sleepy so definitely not today unless I want to zap myself. Anyways, I've got a uh, leg ground here with two 24 uh, volt light bulbs. Uh, this must be from 95 to 97. And uh, pretty inefficient design and these two light bulbs won't be able to light up a small hallway or something due to the leakage of the three batteries of the PCB got really nasty as you can see here solar mask comes totally off uh, if you see if you can see these black marks here and uh, there these are some sort of uh, you know nasty uh, liquid goo uh, that was you know on uh, solar mask and such um, I can't guess that this PCB works and uh, even if it does and I can put jump wires from here to there and it's, it's a really easy PCB that you can even replicate on a very board easily and uh, the real problem of this is the transformer uh, the transformer used to be here but pins got dried I mean the plastic pins got dried and uh, the primary coil is uh, wrapped with voice coil and uh, as those nasty wires do use Wally you know this just fell and broke and uh, you know one this voice call primary is dead that you're not really able to get the wires out so yeah the transformer is just ruined and uh... yeah these batteries still feel leaky on the tats anyways uh... capacitor and, uh, this might be some sort of relay i think who knows this doesn't have transistors oh yeah it does have so yeah, it's not solely on relay based, based on relays. So, uh, yeah, this uh, leg grant uh, 3 watt, supposedly lasting like one and a half hour. But, yeah, this just doesn't work for now. I believe that this only works to be converted to something else, like two LEDs, two one watt LEDs or something, or even put two to three things of uh, like 6 watt CVLs for more backup lights um, yeah this has much space inside so you can do you can definitely do something good with it as when it comes to this one I can say that this one is the only one I have in a working condition around here it's got uh, the 6 watt CVL that you probably seen earlier uh, on the front the front side has a red LED probably for a status uh, for charging status or something and uh, it also has a 12 volt 100 milliampere 1.2 watts uh, light bulb which goes here and works constantly as, as Power this is uh, plugged on the power. Actually, I have no idea why will someone use a thing like this. I mean, this can draw as uh, as low as 20 milliampere on 5 volts and uh, still light more than this one. This does nothing, so it's a really 
really nasty design flower for me. I'm not even sure if I will plug this thing back in, but if any, even if I will, this is just blown, so it's not gonna work. Uh, what else? Yeah, on the back it has a healthy transformer. Thankfully, that transformer is healthy, and uh, it had two two similar uh, 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 what they were like 1.2 volts uh, and 1500 milliamperes battery cells like this one here, and uh, these were dead and uh, somewhat leaky, didn't do any damage though, and uh, I've got these cells here. Uh, these are from a cordless drill that I've had in 2002. You see they are really rusty, but uh, those work, definitely work. Oh, well, they keep the voltage. Uh, these are at uh, 1.25 volts for over a year now. I've also got another few like these things here, but they're just acting like they're sorted, they can't keep any voltage, so yeah, if any cell from here works, then uh, these have more chances to work than these ones here. I've also got some uh, others that are totally fused on the rust between the negative and positive pole, and uh, you know, they're just sorted, I don't hate them here, so yeah. These are really good cells when they are working. I'm gonna try to put. This one takes like uh, two cells from these, like like these, but I'm gonna put like four of them or even five. I don't know the capacity of these ones, or if they are really old. Well, the capacity after the AIDS. So I'm gonna try four to five. Charging them on this circuit won't be a problem as I'm going to put a resistor, a resistor on the charger when it comes to the battery. And uh, you know, they will charge, but they will charge slowly uh, with no problem on the charging circuit. But uh, when it comes to light up the light bulb, it will, you know, it won't have any resistor in the service so to limit the current and uh, not overheat or something or something. So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap four to five of them and see what's going to happen. I'm gonna try to, you know, install this thing really, really soon. Because I really hate that blackout. Uh, let me see the model. It's a uh, Cooper Manbeer. No, this is double insulated and such. This must be the model. Uh, EL13 Mini Foss Cooper Man Beer, self contained, non maintained, emergency luminaire, 2 of uh, 1.2, 1.5 amperes battery cells. Yeah, anyways. So uh, I just put these two battery cells back there. Uh, it has some. Uh, Insulating tape in between and uh, clear tape holding them together. Uh, it's now working as uh, it's not plugged in. Uh, yeah, I might put another two cells in series and somewhere here and then put them in parallel to these two cells for uh, you know about uh, four to five amps of uh, 1.2. Oh no, nope, I I'm sorry, I mean uh, 3.6 volts. And uh, I'm not really sure if I will do that. I want to pump out the maximum duration of emergency light that is possible with this. But uh, you know, I will see. I will uninstall all these things and uh, then clear this plastic base as it's really dirty. And the, you know, the clear cover is nowhere near bare. I'm gonna show you the actual light now, hold it on. This is after the camera has dropped the brightness, and uh, this is without the brightness down. It lights very good, actually.
can light the whole room, I think. Hold it on. Hold it on to set the door. Yeah, it's definitely good. No, actually, this is awesome. Yeah, and these battery cells are not even charged. Well, they are charged, but not fully. Anyways, the time is 2.26 a.m. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, this time is not, definitely not the best for doing this. So, I hope this wasn't boring. Thanks for watching again.